Let's take on one of the latest offerings of Swedish luxury brand Volvo, the 2022 Volvo XC40 T5 R design all-wheel drive. Known to be the smallest SUV in Volvo's lineup, the 2022 Volvo XC40 promises to be colossal when it comes to design, functionality, and performance. Let's check out this is stylist luxury SUV dito po sa ating Manibela Test Drive. Noong 2019, we've had the opportunity to take the Volvo XC60 T8 Hybrid out on a spin in the city. And in April 2020, na-test drive din natin ang Volvo XC40 T5 R Design All-Wheel Drive. At sa pagte-test drive natin ng dalawang model na ito ng Volvo, ay nakita natin talaga yung comfort at yung mga features na mapapakinabangan sa mga sasakyan na ito. Both vehicles are impressive in terms of safety and performance. When you're behind the wheel, ramdam mo talagang you're driving premium vehicles. Kung kaya naman talagang much anticipated itong new model ng XC40. Pero ang tanong ng karamihan, especially those who are interested in upgrading to or owning a luxury car, what makes the 2022 XC40 T5 R design a smart buy? Let's kick things off with the 2022 XC40's exterior. Immediately, you'll be drawn to the XC40's eye-catching look. Its sleek and spunky curvature, angles, and signature grille make it truly stand out. Of course, kapansin-pansin din ang wheels ng XC40. Its 19-inch alloy wheels match the blackout mirrors and trims. The XC40 is available in the local automotive market in D3 and T5 all-wheel drive variants. Under the hood of the D3 is a 1.5-liter turbo diesel engine. While the T5 comes with a 2.0 four-cylinder turbocharged engine. For today's test drive, we will be exploring the Volvo XC40 T5 R design. It has a maximum output of 247 horsepower at 5,500 revolution per minute. Additionally, it has a maximum torque of almost 350 newton meters. This vehicle consumes up to 9.35 kilometers per liter if you're going to drive it around the city. 12.75 kilometers per liter naman ang konsumo kapag sa highway. Siyempre, we have to take note of that lalo na sa fluctuation ng fuel prices dito sa atin sa Pilipinas. Unang upo mo pa lang, very luxurious and comfortable dito sa loob ng bagong XC40. Plus, its sitting position is much higher kung ikukumpara sa mga kakontemporaryo nito. Because of the open and tilt panoramic roof, may na-exude na airy at spacious vibe sa cabin ng sasakyan. Pagdating naman sa likod, may default cargo volume ito na 20.7 cubic feet. According sa isang third-party luggage test, when the rear seats are folded, it can accommodate up to 23 carry-on suitcases or a cargo volume of 47.2 cubic feet. Apart from the roomy interior, Volvo retained its smart storage features for water bottles, phones, bags, and laptops. And added a number of efficient cargo storage features that are perfect for on-the-go car owners. Sa center console ay may detachable garbage bin. Mayroon ding divider sa cargo area. At may hooks na pwedeng pagsabitan ng bags. The infotainment system is mounted at the center of the dashboard and has a 9-inch touchscreen monitor. Ang isa pang maganda rito sa 2022 XC40, you don't have to worry about tangled cables. 
they already added a wireless fast charging feature for compatible devices. Just like before, meron ka capacity to do things conveniently with a centralized digital system. Gamit lang ang iyong smartphone. With just a touch, you can adjust several vehicle settings, make calls, write messages, and even enjoy music, which is something that you will surely enjoy with the XC40's Harman Kardon speakers. Of course, kilala naman natin ang Volvo. It's not named as one of the safest car brands in the world for no reason. So let's take a look at some of the 2022 XC40's driver assistance technology. First off, just like what we have experienced when we got behind the wheel of the 2020 model, my interference at driving na nangyayari through the steering wheel sa tuwing mawawala ka sa tamang lane. With the 2022 model, they retained this supportive driver assistance technology. It even adapts your speed para ma-ensure na mapapanatiling safe ang distance between you and other cars on the road. As inherited from higher-end Volvo models, kasama pa rin sa features ng sasakyang ito, ang Pilot Assist Semi-Autonomous Driving Mode, Cross Traffic Alert, Front and Rear Park Assist with a 360-degree parking view, at road sign information. Of course, to complement its smart and sleek features, you can choose from the youthful roster of exterior color options including Thunder Gray, na kulay ng ating featured vehicle today, Black Stone, Crystal White Pearl, and Silver Dawn. If you want to own a 2022 Volvo XC40, it will cost you between 3.35 to 3.985 million pesos for all three variants. It has a warranty of two years without limits on its mileage. Tingnan natin kung talagang worth the price itong Volvo XC40 T5 R design. Samahan niyo po akong dalhin ito sa kalsada. Dito, feel mo na kaagad yung height ng ano niya. Although, may adjustments din to ng steering wheel, no? Pwede mo ipaba at itaas. Uh, pero, feel mo na yung height ng seat niya. And, dito sa driver mismo, spacious din yun. Kaniyang lugar. And, uh, makikita mo na yung finish niya din sa loob, yung interior na to. Makikita mo na yung luxurious yung kanyang itsura, even the panel. Nandito yung speedometer, digital na siya. Uh, nandito yung uh, RPM mo. Meron din siya auto cruise. Yung talbog niya, ramdam mo yung lambot ng suspension. Mamaya, matitest din natin to sa off-road. Pinaplant na din tayo ng speed limit mo. Dito kasi, along this road, 80 ka lang. Nararamdaman mo yung mga features niya, like yung pilot assist niya. Ina-assist ka niya sa lane mo para hindi ka lumisya. Yung stability niya, ramdam na ramdam mo na nakakapit siya sa road. Even yung Aerodynamics niya, maganda din yung ano. Kaya yung handling mo, kahit na medyo tumuli nito, hindi ka masyadong maihirapan sa handling. At mo, ina-assist ka niya sa lane. Parang gusto ko pang ibalik. Ano? Alam niya na lumilis ka sa lane. Malakas naman yung aircon. Yung auto climate niya, parang hindi pa sapat sa'yo. Pero kasi kinokontrol niya yung ibubuga niya lang na lamig eh. E minsan tayo, parang hinahanap mo yung mas malamig pa. Pwede mo naman siyang i-manual na. 
eto magandang magandang ipambiyahe to ng mahabang biyahe kasi halos hindi mo mararamdaman yung kali na nagbabago ng texture yung ground mo or merong mga kung minsan ay bumpy uh, pagka self-driven car maganda to dahil hindi masyado malaki hindi naman siya kaliitan with all the safety features na meron siya and even yung mga driving features at yung technology na nakapasok sa kanya maganda parang mas comfortable yung ride nito kesa dun sa previous model no? and it parang halos pareho lang naman din yung ano niya but it, it feels more spacious pero in terms of yung comfort niya ha? syempre hindi naman naglalayo-layo yan halos no parang ang sarap matulog alam mo yun pag nasa biyahe ka na ganyan parang ang sarap matulog sa loob kasi parang kang idinuduyan lang eh parang kang inuugoy-ugoy ka lang ng konti tapos naka-cruise control ka pa and kagandahan niya din ano Meron siyang uh, speed limit detector. Uh, kaya ipa-prompt kanya kagaya ngayon. Kanina, nandun tayo sa area na 80 ang speed limit. So, naka-prompt yan dito sa dash. Tapos, nagpapalit din yung lalagay niya kung 80, kung 60. Tapos, once na nag-exceed ka sa speed limit, Bi-blink yung ano mo, speed limit prompter mo. Ino-notify ka niya. Comfort. Nasa comfort ako. Dynamic, eco, efficient driving. So, pang everyday use, comfort. Tingnan natin yung dynamic. Iba yung response ng dynamic sa accelerator. Tingnan natin sa eco. maganda lang yung comfort daily or everyday use yan braking system nya check natin ganda ng brakes napaka responsive ng brakes nya ganda yung natin ng konti ang kanyang performance sa uh, medyo akyatin ng Well, dito tayo ngayon. Packet tayo ng Mount Samat. At tingnan natin yung kanyang stability and yung handling niya sa medyo paakyat at medyo zigzag road. No? Maakit na tayo nito pero parang nasa patag ka lang. Oh. Ang gandang iakyat nito. Lakas. Tsaka very stable. Maganda siya sa pati sa cornering. And then yung lakas ng power niya. Hindi ka mabibitin dito. Ganda ng stability. Yung tayo niya sa road. Makikita mo maganda yung suspension niya pagka nasa kurbada ka. Halos pantay na pantay pa rin siya kahit na umukurbada. Kasi sa ibang sasakyan, yung bilis mo na ganun, pag kinorner mo na ganun siya ng ganun kabilis na, iingit na yung gulong mo nun. Parang gina, ginataog ka na ito, parang pantay na pantay pa din siya. Well, uh, syempre, there will always be an option. Kaya nga, depende lang sa ano yung ilalarga ng pera mo dun sa features na meron siya. But, ang tanong dun is, kailangan mo ba lahat yun? Kasi, kaya nagmamahal. Dahil dun sa mga technology na nakakabit sa kanya, and even yung safety features niya. Although, of course, your safety features the safest 
na pwede mong makuha kukunin mo eh but just the same syempre meron laging ano yan uh, katumbas na additional na presyo doon sa vehicle kung ang range nito talaga sa highway papalo ka ng 11 kilometers per liter uh, doon sa binibigay niya naman sa iyo na power uh, okay lang yon but of course Uh, malakas yun. Kung city driving mo yun, lalabas. City driving mo ng uh, average ka lang doon ng mga 7 to 9 malayo na yun, kilometers per liter. No? This time, tingnan naman natin ng off-road capability niya. And yung comfort pa rin sa off-road eto introduction Tignan natin Makikita mo pa rin yung comfort niya oh. Na halos ito achievable lang itong ganitong bounce sa mga UTV na ginagamit talaga for off-roading pero kung ganito lang mga kabababaw at ganito yung road niya, ramdam mo pa rin yung ganda ng kanyang suspension. So this time, inalis ko sa comfort um, daily use ng driving at ilagay natin siya sa off-roading. Parang mas naging bouncy siya. Nung nilagay natin sa off-road mode parang mas naging bouncy parang tumigas yung suspension niya pwede mo siyang i-off-road ng konti na kagaya ng ganito pero I wouldn't advise uh, kung mga hindi lang talaga maiiwasan ano. mas ang um, steering niya pag naka-off-road mode ay mas matigas hindi naman yung matigas na matigas eh. pero meron siyang ano parang nagkakaroon din siya ng hill hill descent assist naramdaman mo yung pababa niya medyo kinokontrol niya parang meron siyang hill descent assist for this car na napasubo ka na sa ganito road condition Reliable pa rin siya. Tignan natin kung iakyat tayo. Kasi with its power. Ganda kasi ng ano niya. Parang power niya. Parang nakakatokso eh. Sabi sa'yo, aakyat siya eh. Parang baliwala lang yung dinaanan eh. Parang hindi ka umakyat eh. So, wala ka na. Sasabihin. Hindi ba? Eh, hindi ka naman naka-off-road tires. And that road is very challenging. 